Hey folks, this is Tony Day. Going to do a short video today um, just to talk about a feature in DaVinci Resolve 17.4 when it comes to ACES. Um, if you're like me and you really like using ACES uh, or if you're like many other people in the industry and you are forced to use ACES color management for a variety of reasons, um, you probably have come across an issue like in this shot here where you have these highly saturated reds, for example, that kind of get into this bleeding mode and they start to actually have artifacts. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in here so you can really see the issue. You can see there's a hard edge on the image here. And when we pull the saturation down and many, many shots that have this kind of saturation issue will show this. Um, the, a hard edge or you'll see a lot of excessive noise or it'll get really dark and look like, you know, there, there's artifacts there. In fact, in many uh, shows and movies I've seen that use ACEs that appear on Netflix, you can see where they're having these issues, specifically in reds, pinks, blues. And um, the, the problem here is a gamut issue. Uh, the, the captured source gamut is larger than ACEs. Uh, likely there's a clipping issue where it's going into aces and it just doesn't know how to handle these highly saturated colors so the good thing about new 17.4 is that there's a new aces version 1.3 and there's a checkbox right here that says apply aces reference gamut compress now when we do that if you watch over here on the left you're going to see how this hard edge uh, gamut compression issue is, is going to be taken care of. So I'm going to hit save, and now you can see it's nice and smooth. And when we turn the desaturation off, you can see it's still going to have a pretty highly saturated red, but it doesn't have that hard edge, and it's a gradient now. Uh, and when I pull back saturation, I have full control now over those reds, whereas before there was that hard edge that uh, showed how there was uh, really an issue with that saturation. So um, this is a really good implementation by the ACES community and DaVinci Resolve to make sure that we have control over this. I know it's been an issue for many people, uh, and it looks like with this new feature, at least in this test shot that I have, um, some of the other ones that I've been using are no longer available to me for some reason. Um, but this one, which I did have issues with before, uh, now is is uh, much easier to control those uh, highly saturated colors. So I hope this helped you out um, with any of these issues that you may have had, and I hope to see you again next time.